my brother the amon perfumes pako guy mkoma yuda ndaka simba mwana mai mdara bill zviri say mari gold zviri kufamba at bet maenda betty kelvin mukuku josh ben zviri say baba rain zviri kufamba re mwana mai salute the tukusarutai vachangopinda Uh, this presentation uh, is by public demand people want to understand uh, these constitutional amendments uh, the impact of these constitutional amendments uh, why would zanu pf want to amend the constitution yeah 2013 chai chai mkoma wa bed zviri say mother humanikwa you da zviri say ndaka simba ndo 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 simba mkoma kevyo mazi baba nino gambino uh, anzi elim classroom thank you so much uh, uh, nino anzi mitemo gumi yataka piwa ukata dzamumwe watuka yesu mutemo gumi yataka piwa ukata dzamumwe watuka yesu kuna <laughs> manda kwakanaka alta tatubata pa front seat but i am goma eh ujola mkwasha rwa gushi ndaka simba eh baba rain zviri say prince mbari anzi mkoma yuda ndaka simba mwana wa mai eh tau sifas be anda pinda pinda atete fochu nyakupinda matopinda izvo zvi eh atete juli eh kamuona anzi my brother ndaka simba atete juli eh tine urombo It not we've got one of our member at the Rita Chitapi. Uh, she sent me a message uh, kuti mkoma Yuda uh, I lost my mom. Hey, something very difficult. Eh uh, and mamba mojon mdara zviri say in right. Eh at the Rita Chitapi she lost her mom. Eh uh, van send her message eh uh, namba. I tried to call back Uh, I couldn't get through. Uh, the phone was ringing no one was picking up. Uh, tibati ndati tibati mawoko kune one of our followers uh, at the Rita Chitapi. Eh uh, vakashaikirwa namai saka watondi ah koma ida ndakashaikirwa namai ndakaiona message yacho ndika ndakapoti vakashaika pane time. But uh, hey zvoro wadza saka ndazokumbira namba ndigogona utaura na vatete Rita. Unfortunately the number the call was not being picked up uh, i tried to call today kundi bate mawoko tono ndo zvakamira sei eh ateterita i know what you are feeling at the moment it's trying times kufirwa wana amai no zanda kafirwa na amai wangu ndikatambura it's trying times up to today fungwa dzangu hadzizorora unrest when i think my mom ndire pamba ndirombwenda eh kuita deep thinking chaenda kagara ndichifunga mai wakandibereka sometimes uh, ndupesira ndaka kuchema but guys ndashika 50 years dai mai wangu ari wapenya i think kadai ari ma 70 zvinezvi eh but ndinoshika pandogumirwa pamwe pandinoti apa panoda mai asi panenge pasina mai unochema eh kudai vanga varipo ndirimo ndirimo ma days ano ndikapinda kana mshop ndikaona boots eh ndoko dzibata so ndoburisa msozi kudai mama muripo nenda kuti pukuta msodzi kudai mama muripo 
Datenga butsu zimapeka. Datenga bachi rimapeka. Datenga ichinich amai mapeka. E, Shunzo amai shuwira. Kuti mwanao wano kono ondi itirao. And the whole ten commandments in this in Bible is very much about the masoe. Kuna mtemo chet not zekuti gumi. Kuna mtemo gumi kumasoe. Kuse ya mtatu ino sunga niza. Saka mtemo gumi. Iyo ya yataka yataka piwa. Kwa ngu utaza mwe chetu watuka jesu. Shinungo nakiza kumasoe. Zekuti mtemo ya achu ino taurwa kumasoe. Ndo mtemo mwe chetu ya mbaibe. Shino nakiza kumasoe. Nijia tu alichipari za Elijah, Herija. Tenji kupari za mwe chete Herija, anuta urwa mbaibere. Shodi na kiza kumasowe, kana pesi panuta urwa, na tsana nguru zi kumasowe, na urwa zi kumasowe. Most of za kango tito nyo urwa mbaibere, ndo zinungwe shiko pari za kumasowe. Ukada kuona the John, John the Babatist, aga tuma, na baba kuya kuzisa maposto rikuzo na mata, ni nzira ya eda baba. Uka verenga ono mundu wa mbaibere. Asi pane zimwe shiri mbaibere. Shaka so nyuru wa nima kapitalista. Shekuti wano da kukukontrola. Shino shino zo wano wano shino zo tuki sa baibe. Atituki. Mnudu ni maso hamari. Hans with the help of Monzora. Nobody will know what the constitution of the Zimbabwe says. Mugabe gave the Zimbabweans warning. But Hans dae waka totora moms guba. Zim isu ezi. I know. Ya inga dae mayo wangu waku no. But the problem there would she's no longer there. She died a long time ago. They let go mwangu Zaoma. Atete Viki Zuri say Saga not kuna atete Rita Chitapi. We all know uh Atete Rita Chitapi. Uh, one of our uh, followers here, she's lost her mom. And uh, please uh, may her soul rest in peace. Uh to which name. Pandropi is alive yangu I know kutu mwoko na ondi nzwa I'm going to call you again Nuhu na mbo try kufona The phone was not being picked up For certain reasons I couldn't Call in time Because pane zinu Zimuwa za shingo pindana Pane zinu pindana mupenyo Anzi gatisi ya nene nya Zana ma imoyo Imoyo yedu ino buda Asa zinu ruwaza Sakata atine member, one of our member, asha ikiru wana mai, atite rita shitapi. Pane pa mpaunda hindi kasuika so mshop, nika wana dress, wani madress ya wai farira. Andai wa garanji wa seka, ni madress ya nye mawara, nige maputukezi. But surprisingly, nika kasu wana mwana wangu mskana mkuru flow. Anu peka ufa, same type ya madress ya peka wana mbuya wakita. Kamu tikiwe, asu waka garu wa ereo, suka nzindini nisa zita, nini flora. Saka madreza anu farra na kati kuna mayo wa shayengu farra wana mayo wangu chayesu Dozi nupi kwa ni mwana wangu Saka mwana nisizo mkuza nisiti mayo magadi Nika munga ndofona Mayo magadi Tika sangana amayo magadi Nundu nuna reflection ya mayo wangu Pane mwana wangu Behavior ya mayo wangu chayesu chayesu Nda kata ahe Mwari maga naka Mwita kudi Mwuti pato nozo re moyo Ndiko kuna waku Unzwa mwe wangu chitzika pasi ndika mwona ndika di mai Makati Nduwa na wana wangu ndika wana mai wangu Saka at least God gave me someone to say mom to Thank you so much Kuna flow Ndoti nini kubanawe Zimbabwe Mese murukumati mana inyika Ndo nyayatu kutawarane zwa yo constitutional amendment Saka nanda titangita bata mawangu kuna tete rita chitapi Pando peza live I will try to call her again to make sure with the Tabatan. So, these uh, constitutional amendments are quite uh, well. Ladies and gentlemen, overall, the amendment bill uh, that has been proposed by ZANU PF, it is an amendment bill that will dilute your de our democracy. It is an amendment bill that uh, weakens uh, the rule of law. It is an amendment bill uh, that can make us fa fail. To take sufficient heed, or the government will fail to take sufficient heed of human rights, particularly those of a civil and a political character. So, if you look at, uh, and I didn't necessarily say go go anata welcome go go and if you uh, it uh, comrade Mabunu watching from Zanz uh, for sure. Thanks, Mkomachale. Um, thank you for coming. So, what I'm saying is, if we look at the amendment. 
uh, that has been proposed by ZANU PF. It is an amendment bill that dilutes our democracy. It's an amendment bill that weakens our rule of law. It's an amendment bill that take uh, that made government fail to take heed uh, of human rights. They don't care about human rights. Uh, particularly if those of uh, civil and political nature. So our rights are in danger. Our human rights are in danger. Remember last time I spoke more or a lot about human rights. I did a get to this one. How are you? Hello, uh, my brother from Gaboron. Uh, thank you so much. To Sister Rita, at Nemi Munamato, at the name, in Zrael Utose, Mucheme Munetariro. Thank you, at the Emilda. Mr. Yuda, Murise Kumirugo, watching from South Africa. Thank you so much. Big Timber, Justin Svanda, Maposa, Zuru Fambair, Nagasimba, Goguanata, Murise Mim. So what I'm saying, uh, Panama, ladies and gentlemen, is we must not accept this amendment bill that has been tabled by zanu -PM. And the way the amendment bill has been done, it's not a proper way uh, to do it. They are testing the waters to see how deep the waters are through this amendment bill. Once this passes through, they are saying they want to amend the age limit of presidential candidates uh, from uh, 40 to 52 years old. And obvious, you can tell that they are trying to target President Nelson Chamisa. The only fear in zanu -PF, they fear Nelson Chamisa. They don't fear anybody else. They fear Nelson Chamisa. So this is why you see they are saying they are going to change. They are trying with this amendment, Bill number 2. If they, it sells through they pass it into law. Next, they are going to change the age limit from 40 years of a presidential candidate to 52 years. So they have calculated. This is why you see they are saying 20, 30, 90 cheapo. Because they have calculated to see that for President Nelson Chamisa to stand as a presidential candidate in 52, at 52, he has to spend about 10 years from now so that he can be able to stand as a presidential candidate uh, 10 years to come. So this is what ZANU-PF are planning. Their, only, uh, their plans are calculated at, uh, uh, at, at barring President Nelson Chamisa from protesting, from contesting in 2023. So this, these things, these things, are, they, were, they were not planned today, but they were planned years behind. And this was a calculated move. This is why you see even Mugabe warned Zimbabweans about uh, Mangwana and Monzora. Mugabe said Mangwana and Monzora wako, and the people laughed, but that old man was was for warning Zimbabweans that look these two people uh, don't trust them don't ever trust them with the constitution of the country and they can do anything like what we are witnessing today Kakis. what we are witnessing today so whatever is happening today it's not about um not about this it's about Monzora collaborating with the ZANU PF especially on the mutilation of the constitution that the people wrote and agreed to in 2013. This is mutilation of the uh, constitution. This is why you see uh, ZANU-PF, they are preparing to do anything. And how are you, my brother, Prince Zirug Fambaga? So the constitutional amendment bill, uh, you, as we understand, was supposed to be tabled, uh, or tabled for public hearings, uh, and these were held uh, during lock, the COVID-19 lockdown situation. So, and some Zimbabweans, they don't know even today that uh, public hearings were made about this constitutional amendment. And the zanu -PF were just pushing their people to go say yes, 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 yes. So if you look at when the hearings were held, they were held during lockdown. Uh, situation. In announcing the commencement of public hearings on the constitutional amendment bill number two, the parliament announced that the nationwide hearings will comply, will comply with the Ministry of Health and uh, Child Care 
child care COVID-19 regulations is outlawed in statutory instrument uh, number 99 and 110. So, uh, as stated earlier, some of the regulations included observing social distancing, um, sanitization of hands, tempering, uh, temperature screening and wearing of face masks added to this only 50 participants were going to be allowed at one time to air their views on the proposed amendments. And these were done. Uh, only 50 people were being allowed. We are talking of a constitution where every Zimbabwean must be participating. And my home, I couldn't say long term. Uh, so this is where the government... Uh, did not waive the lockdown uh, restrictions. It did not waive the lockdown restrictions. It continued with all these hearings under lockdown situation where only 50 people were being allowed to go and air their, their, their um, uh, Mkoma Stanford, Zirise and Agasimba to go and air uh, their, their uh, going to contribute, in fact, airing their, their opinions on the issue about the amendment uh, bill number two so if you see which it required uh, to have for instance letters of justification in their movement under lockdown for you to go why don't you put somewhere else why don't a paper it's a by negative justification but the government of zimbabwe went ahead to carry these hearings behind people's uh, knowledge Many people were turned down at the state security agents, including the police and soldiers manning my roadblocks, thereby failing to attend the public hearings or the public uh, gatherings. Uh, reacting to this, other challenges, citizens actually condemned the public hearings, uh, completely suggesting that government's timing was wrong. So this is uh, what why I have to come live on Facebook analyzing this bill. So I'm looking at the public hearings, which was supposed to give a thumb ahead, thumbs ahead to the amendments. Because before you do a constitutional amendment, the people of Zimbabwe, the owners of the constitution, the people who wrote that constitution, they must agree to that. As Comrade Judah, how are you? So, if we look at the timing of these hearings when they were done, and the tag ran a race, uh, to defend your constitution, not to run uh, chasing uh, the so called uh, binga. <laughs> Good evening, uh, courage, Mazo. So, what we are saying is uh, the people who were traveling that time uh, during lockdown they required letters, and some of them were turned uh, back by soldiers who were manning roadblocks. They refused those people to attend uh, these public uh, gatherings. So reacting to this and the challenge, citizens actually condemned the public hearings completely, suggesting uh, that the government's timing was wrong and there was a need for government to prioritize the hunger crisis and the food shortages given the lockdown complex guidelines and uh, effects on citizens who depend on the informal sector. So this is what happened uh, during lockdown, ladies and gentlemen. So those who did not know that the public hearings were done on the amendment because no few Zimbabweans uh, really know that it was done already. So during the public hearings, COVID-19 uh, measures such as sanitization, temperature screening, and wearing of face masks, face masks were adhered to. Adhered to you understand? However, as people uh, continued to flood venues for the public hearing, some of these measures became difficult to observe and some of the people were turned away. So people's concerns. So we are looking at uh, the amendment. So as I've mentioned here earlier on that this amendment is dilutes democracy. It weakens the rule of law in our country uh, and it fails to take sufficient heed of human rights. We've got quite issues, a lot of issues about human rights uh, in our country, particularly uh, perpetrated by uh, Zanu Piev, uh, if you look at the political character of Zanu Piev. So portions of the amendment uh, would be a backward step for democracy. Accountability, the divisions of government power and representativeness, the rule of law, 
in our country. It will be hindered. And human rights in Zimbabwe in particular, it would further allocate power to the president while diluting or enfeebling the mechanism intended to hold the president to account. This is what ZANU-PF is trying to do. They are trying to, to move away Emerson Mnangagwa from accountability so that whatever he does, you won't be accountable for everything. For instance, we've got people who were killed on the 1st of August, people who were killed on the 14th of January 2019 and August 2018. So this is, uh, the president must be held accountable for those killings because he is the commander-in-chief of the soldiers. He is the one who gives an order to the army, who deploys the army to go and say, go kill. So the president must be accountable for those crimes. So what is ZANU-PF trying to do is they are trying to evade so that he won't be held accountable of those crimes. You understand? So this is wrong. And in some cases, illegal conduct, the illegal conduct of the president during that time, deploying soldiers to kill innocent civilians, people who were not armed, people who were running away from the army, the presence of the army made people to flee uh, the CBD. And these soldiers must have stopped shooting, Both people were running away, but they were given an order by the commander-in-chief to say, go and kill. So the commander-in-chief gave an order and deployed those soldiers to go and kill those people. And he should be held accountable for his actions. So this is where this is coming in, to try and evade uh, the accountability where the commander-in-chief deploys the army to kill innocent civilians, which is which tantamounts or amounts to uh, um, uh, human rights abuses, especially on political character. Of the president so this is where this bill is gonna affect us thus far several civil society and human rights organizations and activists they've expressed the profound concern uh, towards the contents of this bill this is why i've come live today on facebook so that we look at this bill particularly in terms of human rights uh, and uh, uh, political uh, character so, so this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when we have got a, a, a government which doesn't respect Zimbabweans, which doesn't respect our human rights at all? Because what is a constitution? People should understand what a constitution is. A constitution, as people must understand it, uh, of any state is a board of fundamental principles uh, which the state acknowledge uh, to be governed by. These are principles, fundamental, a constitution. These are fundamental principles that a state or a government acknowledges to be governed by. Fundamental principles that you and me and every Zimbabwean acknowledge to be governed by. So most of those things are in our constitution. So this is what makes a constitution of any state, of any country, which are fundamental to our survival, fundamental principles, which is the state acknowledges, acknowledged to be governed by. It is the supreme law of the land. If we look at the Zimbabwe constitution, it is the supreme law of the land, which we all agree that we must be governed by these fundamental principles. This is what we only call a constitution. Then some people have to read and understand those fundamental principles. And some people become uh, experts in those fundamental principles. Paulo Zawunzu, who is a constitutional lawyer, who is a constitutional analyst, because they have studied those principles at length. And Zimbabwe is no human rights now. Mnangagwa wants to deny Zimbabwe's democracy. This is what is intended here with the uh, amendment bill on number two. So the procedure of amending a constitution differs from state to state. If we look at how uh, they do it in Zambia, how they do it in South Africa, 
how they do it in a, in Zimbabwe, they differ on how they want to amend these fundamental principles. So, if you look at uh, the constitution, uh, that is uh, our constitution are ordinary laws, because it is always more difficult to amend a constitution than than it is to pass or amend it. To 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 amend a constitution, that must be very difficult. Because there are stages that people will follow. 3 million people, 95% vo voters in 2020, in 2013 voted yes to current constitution. So all the people should be afforded an opportunity to say either yes or no. Exactly. This is what the constitution must be done. The constitution of Zimbabwe, Amendment Bill Number 2, uh, this bill was published in Zimbabwe Government Gazette on the 31st of December 2019. The bill seeks to make changes to the current constitution of Zimbabwe, the, 20, the 2013 constitution of Zimbabwe. So this bill, which was passed uh, or gazetted on the 31st of December 2019, uh, it seeks to make amendments to our 2013 Zimbabwe constitution. Uh, establishing the rules and the principles by which the polite of Zimbabwe is governed, is governed. In total, there are 27 proposed amendments which needs to be done. The poli the, this police brief... So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if we look at the, 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 the fundamental principles which are to be amended amount to 27... And this was was published in a gazette on the 31st of December 2019. And the team said, So the amendment bill, and we are and I will join live. Thank you, Mkoma Tinashi. We are here to stand up. To go to our about the 27 amendments uh, which needs to be done by ZANU PF government amending the Zimbabwe 2013 constitution and the impact of those amendments. So, this is what we are looking at today. Uh, the amendment bill seeks to fundamentally alter uh, the legal framework. That is structures the office of the vice president. The vice president is the second highest uh, ranking political official in the in the country, in our country, in Zimbabwe, who performs the duties of the president when the president is absent or otherwise unable to exercise their duties, and succeeds the president if he or she dies or is removed from office. So, the election of the vice president is constitutionally mandated in several countries in Africa. If you look at that, but what's the way forward, people with the ZANU-PF and the Monzora? Uh, the way forward, we are going to say it, M. Koma Leonard, uh, at the end of this presentation. We are going to talk about the way forward. Toite, Sema Zimbabweans, because Ukwa Kuderera, ZANU-PF government, Yashika Pamgano, Yashika Pakusada Kunyarwa, Kwa Kuderera, at the end, because we are talking of a constitution where our democracy is diluted, where our rule of law is stampeded on, where our freedom is stampeded on, to leave us without freedom. And the how deep the waters are. So section 91, uh, 201, of the constitution of Zimbabwe, among other things, I'm going to push some things here so that I can be clear. Uh, my mic is going to occur. So, section 91 to section 101 uh, of the constitution of Zimbabwe, among other things, outlines the qualifications uh, to become the pre vice president. How uh, the election of the vice president is conducted the way in which the vice president's office assumes office or the vice president assumes office and the term of the president or the vice president the term of the vice president they are all put under section 91 to 101 of the our 
of our Zimbabwe a constitution. The resignation and removal of the vice president, and lastly, the method of succession of the president or vice president. So the content of the 2018 constitution relating to the office of the vice president promotes values of accountability, transparency, and democracy. So this is what ZANU-PF do not want because the contents of section 91 to 101 of the constitution of Zimbabwe, it promotes values of accountability, transparency, and democracy. So these are the constitutions that ZANU-PF intends to, 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 to twist and turn. What you have agreed on ZANU-PF is saying stupid. These people of Zimbabwe are stupid. They were not supposed to have agreed on this. Let's turn this and let them agree to this. So if you look at Section 92 of the 2013 Constitution, allows for the direct election of two vice presidents in our country. They are nominated by a president, a presidential candidate under a running mate system. So what happens is the president will elect, all right, you elect these people. So this system provides the voters with a crucial choice uh, as to which set of president, presidential and vice presidential candidates best aligns with the political uh, views. So people of Zimbabwe are given time to choose, to say, look, you are going to elect the president, you are going to elect the vice president, you are going to elect another vice president. This gives you time or opportunity to choose. Muno wa muno da. Muno gona wata, all right, president, ta eleta oku zanu, but una vice president, no MDC, ne oba atu vice president. You understand? So the system in 2013 constitution is a very good system. It allows accountability, it allows transparency, and it allows democracy. Democracy has to be done. So 92, section 92, that's what it states. So that it gives you opportunity to elect someone who aligns uh, with your political views. In other sections, 92 enables Zimbabweans to research, uh, vet, know about, and as part of more extensive decision, select the vice president of your choice. Not also, so this running met. Uh, the running mate concept is also entrenched in section 110, 110 uh, subsection 3 of the constitution. Uganda Zambia, section 8, uh, subsection 4 of the constitution. If you go to section 148, subsection 3, if you go to section 142 of the constitution of Nigeria, you find the same section where this running mate is there. And one. Other countries, however, opt for a different mechanism whereby the vice president is appointed by the president. So if you look at Zimbabwe's previous constitution, it allowed Mugabe to select Munuano Daoud president vice president vice president because Munanga was saving on, uh, on the prerogative rights of the president of Zimbabwe. Saka Mugabe powers to hire and fire. Which powers uh, Mudara uh, uh, Mudara uh, Munanga was seeking to have to say let me uh, hire and fire my own vice president the vice president of my choice and I personally think uh, MDC needs to turn down on one ZPF uh, does wrong and put up the volume on the solutions the problem now is if you are opposition uh, you, you point where ZANU-PF is going wrong and you give solutions. So this is what ZANU-PF MDC has done. It has pointed a lot on what ZANU-PF is going wrong, especially on these amendments. And the solutions have already been put for people of Zimbabwe just to follow. So it all depends how the people would react to this. And so this process is followed in countries such as South Africa, 
kwenda ku South Africa Namibia ne kwa Angola eh, vano di uh, president aiswa ipapo ndi ano unonga wano da kuti aite president and more so if we take section 94 of the constitution uh, this proposed amendment bill authorizes the president to appoint two vice presidents those are true kuramba izvozvo zvatotara kuvano ku Zimbabwe please refuse this say no to this atete flow murise say no to this because uh, the amendment bill it want to authorize Emerson Mnangagwa to appoint two vice presidents. So those Mgabe. So those people were serving at Mgabe's prerogative. So this amendment would deprive the voters of the power to elect two vice presidents. So we are saying no. The bill also amends uh, section 95 and 97, transferring the president uh, pre the president exclusive uh, authority to remove vice presidents from office. So 95. And in 97, they want to amend them to give him Nangagwa powers to remove or to fire President Wanengaisa at his own Panenga uh, filler. No, no, no. You are Oscar Shandoda. But what we are saying is Section 94, uh, it is giving Nangagwa powers. Section 94 of the Constitution. They want to give Nangagwa powers to appoint this vice president. What is true? Then, at the end of Section 95 and Section 97, what they want to do is they want to make sure that powers are given to Mnanga Gwaegudu. He can remove those vice presidents at the, uh, 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 any time at his will. So that means these people are going to serve again at the prerogative uh, of the uh, president. So we are saying no to these amendments. Thus, the amendment bill seeks to further consolidate or concentrate government authority in the hands of the president. Uh, who is already the most influential figure in Zimbabwe. So we are going to, it's like we are taking back the executive president's back to Mutuzanu PF to Mnanga Gwagut. No, those powers that Agata Wara got 2013 at Sukuda Kupa president. Uh, no, 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 no. Taku Kupai, those powers again. That means we give back the executive powers to 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 to. to to Mnangagwa to become the most uh, powerful president perhaps in Africa. So Already, he is an influential figure, but he wants more powers that will create dictatorship in our country. So the amendment bill uh, would finish the president uh, would finish the president with the higher authority to appoint and remove, appoint and remove, appoint and remove, and quite possibly control the vice presidents. These proposed changes increase the likelihood that the vice presidents will be chosen based on their loyalty to the president. This is why you see Ram Nangagwa became vice president uh, during Robert Mugabe time because he was he said he was the most loyal member to the president. And so he he rose uh, and allowed to be vice president. And just joined you. Hi Gilbert Kamas. Ziruk Fambe Rose Mushonga Zirugudin. So what we are saying here is it gives they want to say Munanga will appoint anyone loyal to you as vice president. It doesn't allow Zimbabweans to choose their vice president. And it's no longer a ZANU or MDC. Uh, thanks, Ngomach Kerema. No longer a ZANU or MDC. We are talking about the constitution of a country here. And, and the vice president will act uh, dif differentially uh, towards the president out of fear of being removed from office. Magawana ere kutuwa nama mjuru wai wai fugama mdara wajiti mungabe ndi baba Wana mnanga kwa wai ni umbera wajiti mungabe ndi baba Wajimu fugamira apana munu angasika ende pamberi pa mungabe ashino mfugamira Iso shondo sa truku ramba sa taka ramba boss we saw it happening before and we don't want to repeat the same mistakes This is why you see when people, as people said no to that constitution where you serve as vice president because you are loyal to the president. That removes democracy. That dilutes democracy. That brings an accountability because you won't be held accountable. As I personally think it is high time we stand our grounds. This nonsense has uh, been going on for too long. Definitely uh, Bob Mali said. As one said, none but ourselves can free ourselves. Definitely at this juncture we have reached a dead end where Zimbabweans must rise up. Where Zimbabweans must start talking. Where Zimbabweans must 
take a bold decision to confront the bull by the horns because we are going back to Mugabe era. The lack of a clear succession policy also impacts on national stability. We all saw it. Even in our MDC political part, we lacked this uh, succession um, policy that is today impacting on our performance as a political part. So if you look at during Mugabe's time, there was lack of that stability. These issues were very much apparent during Mugabe's uh, tenure as president. They would also contribute to the erosion of democracy in Zimbabwe by depriving citizens of Zimbabwe uh, having their say on which candidate should become vice president. As you should have right, look at uh, ZANU PF. Look at the quality of vice presidents we have. We took a pedophile. Idim Nanga appointed a pedophile. Uh, Kembo Muhad is a, was a pedophile. Appointed to be vice president in our country. Appointed someone who believes that diesel uh, comes from a uh, purified diesel oozes from a rock. These are the people, the quality of presidents that Zimbabwe had. He appointed even Chiwenga, who is who doesn't even respect women. He is abusing a woman, his former wife. Munwaifu Ganae Gumbez. Ugamdaza Mary Chwenga Rukuora. And Chwenga Rukubeja. Arukumba passport in Rukumuraya. And Murgona. So we are looking at that type of a vice president. Who would. Akwa Nise. Kutarisa. Situations. Achuona Hood. Varume. Mukazu on the Fuganae Gumbez. Akuna Shinchino Raza. Kudu Mukazu. Oi. Donzera Nanae Gumbez. Enemy to you. If it's true that this woman wanted to kill Chuenga, why can't we let the law do its, uh, its, 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 its job rather than you were interfering with the, 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 the issues of the law? You understand? And two tambus were a group of people, a good Tigadagua Herenga was 50, and Tigadagua visa was two a day. These are just less than 50 people. And if we want to remove them as Zimbabweans, it doesn't take us a day, 24 hours. Think it as this one ungura. And then after Andina Bando, Ndoya Mangwana, thanks Ngoma Bule. Don't worry, man, man. I will upload it on YouTube anytime you want to listen to this. You can still go and listen. And then one. So, as before you know, it Passion Jawa is your president. We need to stop uh, these guys in their tracks, uh, definitely. As I'm sensing an uprising, definitely. It is also a pedo. As Mukoma Mazirizirise, Mukoma blessing, Dafar, Atete Feli, Zuruk Fambari, Edward Mushawa, Mukoma Zuruk Batanar. So if you look at these issues of someone being loyal, someone who lean, who, 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 who bow down, because each quarter because of loyalty, you not the vice president. During Mugabe's time, uh, they would also, also contribute to the erosion of democracy. We saw there was no democracy in Zimbabwe by depriving citizens of having their say on the best candidates or the candidates that the citizens want or should be vice president. Transferring the power of removing the vice president to the National Assembly, to the president, could ultimately lead to abuses of power or a process. This is what exactly ZANU-PF is seeking to say, okay, fine, let's have an amendment bill. Definitely, this will lead to abuse of power because you know this one. That was abuse of power. That was abuse of power, which we are saying we should not go back to that. So these proposed amendments are contrary to the African Charter for Democracy, Elections and Good Governance. In particular, Article 3 of African Charter for Democracy, Elections and Good Governance, uh, which states that state parties, state parties to the Charter should ensure success to an exercise of state power in accordance with the constitution of the state part and the rule of law. So what we are looking at, uh, Africa, the African Charter for Democracy, Elections, and Good Governance. Here you know, Tawara, good. Amendment, you know, it was obvious. 
it it contradicts this charter so you go to as president nga hapo and a vice president wano da shataka ramba isusu 2018 Andri Bongo Mayudata was in Zimbabwe. Bakuma na to ego. What we are saying now is high time. Uh, Zimbabweans must see that we have been used enough. Tashka, we have hit, we have hit the dead end. We have hit. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we definitely hit the dead end. If we don't act, that means you we, you all perish. I'm sure Awashiki even fought him. Come on, no, 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 And let's stand up and go. To pull out this idiotic regime, not to stand up and watch P. Jawa doing nonsense on our streets. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at whatever I'm saying here, the amendment the bill proposes to amend uh, against section 103 of subsection 3 of 2013 constitution by increasing the number of ministers and deputy ministers that the president can select from outside the parliament uh, from 5 to 7. So you, you you understand the, he wants to give himself power. But no one would write pie pie. Hmm? MDC are a majority. I know, but uh, uh, he need to have powers. He could he could appoint seven ministers to boost his uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his his powers in parliament. So you they are seeking to appoint to 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 amend section one zero four and one sec uh, one zero four subsection three of twenty thirteen constitution. They are mutilating the constitution. They are mutilating the constitution. Guys, constitution is not a good thing. Taka, 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 Zimbabwe at the moment, if we don't rise up, then guys, we are down and out. As we can stand and we have done it before, but we are the army, police judges, and guns. Is it? Isu Tingori Vanunje. Vanunje and Ovakai Pamans. Vanunje and Ovakai Pabrurong. Tikatara Yusudan. Vanunje Vagawea Vagarapas. Putizagawea Vagadaw Ziriza. Maso Jagapes Rats Kanda Passes Guns. We cannot kill 10,000. 20,000 people on the street, honestly, President. Can we shoot and kill 20,000 people? We can't. And Sudan, Omar Al Bashir, the most feared African leader, he was dethroned. And in the morning, it's all up to the people of Zimbabwe. If we put 20, 30,000, 1 million people on the street, there are any more than a million people. Would have boom street, as it is put. Matenga, I found I am no nepay. And in the so, on face value, this proposed 104 amendment might not appear alarming. However, on a closer inspection, this change could provide the president with greater powers. As it widens the scope of choice the president has in appointing ministers outside parliament, and the moment, kwa zera, vamo wa nun parliament, is tukuta rodi, varimo waka wandisa, at the moment tukuta rodi, parliament is bloated. But someone is seeking powers to appoint more friends, more relatives in parliament. And it on. So if we look at um, it increases the number of unelected officials in the executive. It also it is not inconceivable that this could lead to unelected ministers putting extraneous interests such as those of the president. Before Zimbabwean people, however, if done appropriately, it could result in more suitable persons assuming ministerial positions. As the president could nominate individuals with the professional expertise in the matters relating to the specific portfolio to which he or she is appointed. If done earnestly, it can bring changes to our Political because Kunoto Ramun Omno Zog, all right, this person is a technocrat, is an economist, this person is a doctor, Mpei Aite, Minister of Health, and the one. But to Zanu PF, that is noted, it's about boosting their figures, it's about boosting their numbers in parliament so that they keep on 
wajisa mitemo to oppress Zimbabweans. Because mitemo in parliament is by vote. A bill seconded to a parliament can only be passed by the majority. So the number of people you have in parliament, that's the number of your majority. If you've got majority, all the bills will sail through. I'm going to talk much about that at the end of this. And we were talking about the edge strategy that these guys want to use by 2020. Yes, the edge strategy is after these amendments, after these amendments, they want to use uh, the, the, the edge uh, amendment as well. Because this is what we call uh, the, the air district. How deep the sea is. They are just trying to find out how deep the, the, the sea is. When they succeed in this then they know they've, they are done with the Zimbabweans. The next thing is that amendment of the age limit from 40 to 52. That means Chamisa will have to wait for the next 10 years to start contesting as president of a country. And then Murugona Shawarda Kuita. Because the yardstick is this bill. If we allow this nonsense to go ahead, then Toto Zawagudi, Iwewe Nenita Parara. Iwewe Nenita Parara. I temporarily. Things can turn, can change any minute. Why can't we turn things? Uh, I think we have to turn things upside down. Definitely. As things are at the moment in Zimbabwe, there is no means, of, there is no ways people can maintain the status quo. Let's turn things upside down. Let's look at what Sudan did. They turned the things upside down. Let's look at Malawi did. Malawians turned the things upside down. And what happened? They have got a government of their choice. They can control that government because the majority are the people. The majority are the constitution. And the Murugona Nyati Kutar. If you go to Zambia, let's look at Zambia. Under section 116 of their constitution. It is required that the president only appoints ministers from within parliament. This is Zambia. Mkoma um, Alex Zuri say, let's look at Zambia. This gives accountability. The president of Zambia is only allowed to appoint ministers uh, from within the parliament. Section uh, 42, uh, subsection 3.1 of the constitution of Botswana permits the president to, uh, to select up to four persons as ministers who are not members of parliament. Article 27 of the African Charter on Democracy, Elections and Governance emphasizes that in order to advance political, economic and social governance, state parties shall commit themselves to strengthening the capacity of the parliament, parliaments and legally recognize political parties to perform their core functions, which is restricted in our country. Let's not be afraid of these small groups of mafias. It's just a mafia, guys. They would take away visa and us. Mafia is on. It doesn't take us a day. Just pumping one million people on the streets. Oh, President Lung can only appoint ministers within the parliament. Kwa hivyo, mwada seven people outside. Isturuku chema, kwa hivyo, cabinet is bloated. Imi mwada more people in, into that cabinet. Chicha mawana, chicha waru kuita wani wawo. The country does not have electricity. The country does not have water. The country does not have health system. The country has got a dysfunctional educational system. But you still need to appoint more ministers. For what reason? For what purpose? Whilst with a bloated cabinet, Mugabe did not bring those changes. Mugabe failed to, 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 to take Zimbabwe out of those doldrums with a bloated cabinet, with the technocrats. And Mugabe and who president. Now, someone who came with Mugabe around Iroidofo, after under seven more from the big number that Mugabe had, and he wants to appoint seven more ministers. And he's saying, let's amend the constitution. Allow me uh, to appoint friends and relatives into the food, into the feeding trap. Sakatukuta Zimbabwe. If we don't act now, that's it. We are gone.
As we agree that things are bad, but the mobilization strategy is in Chamisa and the MDC hands. Uh, thanks, uh, Mkomach Kerim. Uh, precious, Zhiri say. So the importance, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if we look at there is this, they need there is need of creation of a public public protector to protect the public. The importance of an overnight board such as a public protector is intended to improve the performance of government governance structures and strengthen accountability. Article 15 of the African Charter uh, on Democracy, Elections and Governance states that state parties shall establish public institutions that promote and support democracy and the constitutional order and the state parties shall ensure that the independence of the independence or, or autonomy of these institutions is guaranteed by the constitution once again we need a bobby wine uh, thing is guaranteed by the constitution the amendment bill proposes to establish an entirely new executive office the public protector the bill equips the public protector with the several pow powers which include to undertake investigations into administrative actions taken by officers, persons or authorities who are part of any ministry or department. To investigate where it is alleged that a person has suffered an injustice and is unlikely that judicial remedies will be available to that person. This function was previously assigned to the Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission, ZHRC, by Section 243, Subsection 1 of the Constitution, and to investigate cases where a person, authority, offender, or officer is acting on behalf of the state or a public institution. And one. So, under section, in the quarter, this section is in the commenter, guys. Under section 244A, uh, subsection 2 of the bill, the public protector and the deputy public protector are appointed by the president. Those are two Kuramba And then one. Following consultation with the Judiciary Service Council and the Committee on Standing Rules. And order. If the president elects to go against the recommendations of the JC and the CRC, he or she needs to merely inform the Senate of this as soon as possible. Conversely, more stringent rules apply to section uh, to section of members of Human Rights Commission who must be chosen for their integrity and their knowledge and understanding of and experience in the promotion of human rights zimbabweans we need to unite we definitely need to unite so it is of concern that the president is such extraordinary and rather untrammeled powers of appointment in relation to the public protector and the deputy public protector in practice this enables the president to select appointees based on self-interest or political motivation. This is like what we are seeing today, that the president is he select on a justice Malawa as chief justice because chief both of self-interest and the political motivations. Malawa is judge Zanupia. When uh, I uh, they are judges Bunu, my judge says Zanupia. So they've got self-interest uh, to the president and they've got political, uh, uh, political motivations of the president. This problem is amplified by the fact that there is no constitutional requirement that holds, holders of the office of the public protector possess experience, qualities or aptitudes required for that office. So the president is seeking powers to appoint this protector, office protector. Saka, this protector, nema duties at a tower would anenga chin investigator. My problems are no saga nevanu. My problems are no saga ne nema officers. My problem are no saga kunya go nema purisa. My problems are no saga kana ne wasungwa. My problem are no saga ne ma officers are jo ne wa no kasiya na siya. The the jude, but kana president wa kuapo inda 
Munu wa wano da iwo. Kwete munu anonzi nga apu. Ne, 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 ne must standing rules and order. E, kana wano apu inu wano judicial service commission. Kana wano apu inu wano ano ano. It was present. We second this person. Because we have seen that this person is qualified. Anima qualities. He possesses qualities. He possesses his, his, his good, uh, his qualifications and has got aptitudes required for that office. Saka, ya aru kuti, inini kwete, musandu uzi rekudaro, kuti munu anima, anima aptitudes or anima qualities uh, uh, holder that office, anima qualifications. Ah, ah, asu kuda kudaro. Aru kuda, munu ane self-interest in zanu pievu. Munu ano, wano tara uh, ui, ane political motivation, munu we zanu. Ndiye munu wa waruda kwa hapo Saka isi tukuta wa wakuti. Aywa. Kana kwa waka wapo indu kwa munu anonzi. Ye, e, e, kana pa create kwa a public protector. That person must know, never be appointed. And his deputy must never be appointed by a president. And munu wana. Saka the amendment is trying to give munanga kwa power. So the Human Rights Commission is empowered to take uh, over matters being investigated by the public protector. A condition that the dominant question involves human rights violations by the government. And we go, Shagavana would my human rights violations by the government. Can I acquit public protector? Aria Apo in Guanamanagua, Panish Acha Itari, Apana. We are looking at the shootings, the one August 2018, Nema killings, a 14 January 2019. They were all done by the state. And Magunu complainer, Kuna public protector, Agapo in Guanamangagua. Punish no good air. It's just like by elections are rigua. To turn a constitutional court, to end up justice malaba, Agapo in Guanamangagua. He will never nullify any results, despite of any, uh, 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 any, 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 anything wrong. He will never nullify them. Mkoma Roy is really say, Blessed uh, Sunday. Thank you so much, Monoma. So these overlapping mandates may well give rise to ambiguity and mis misunderstanding. In addition, there does not seem to be uh, uh, justification or capacity-wise of the creation of another oversight board as government appears to be struggling to financially capacitate the existing uh, oversight board. So people are saying, creation of this, people are saying, Zimbabweans are saying, creation of a public protector. Isuzu tine, uh, you know, the Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission. As bad sire, it's a waste of money. Because it's a creator, that the public protector, yacho, iyo, jagure wa isho kut. Wa, 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 duplication of duties. Kwa kwa kungo wanza, ma office, e kupanana, ukama. Kana muna apfuru, wa, ne, 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 state, Yupana public protector, aga hapo ndi wana mnangagwa. You can't go there and say masoja wana mnangagwa, au raya mwana wangu. Saka nukuda kukumbanzetwa. You can't get that compensation. It's like tutakuenda ku constitutional court, kuno challenge ama results in my elections. Aga ramba kutora eh, ma V11 malaba. Because I wana 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 V11, obviously I'm going to nullify the results. Saka anga skado those results, I to nullify. And then we're going. Saka taa kutawara kutima Zimbabweans, Twitter say, Twitter say. So if we look at whatever is happening now, Munanga uh, Gwa, the, the amendment bill, it is proposing a change to the words foreign organizations or entities to international organizations uh, by amending amendment of chapter 327, subsection 3b of the constitution. Foreign organizations or entities refers to any institution that operates or is based outside of Zimbabwe, such as foreign international banks and the financial institutions. And let it open our eyes. People definitely uh, must know this. While international organizations uh, themselves are established by treaties or other international instruments, including the World Health Organization and the African, the African Union, this change would confer on president the power to conclude agreements that bind Zimbabwe with the foreign organizations and entities without the approval of parliament. That means if this section 327 is given is, is amended, that means Munanga Gwai has got powers to conclude any business dealing with the foreign companies or anything without the parliament knowing. 
It's like kukujamba pale meni kudaiwa president ndo acha vumira kuti ndingi ngawo yaite mining uyo ndingi ngawo yaite zvakati uyo ibuda unoita zvakati zvisina parliament mukati so there is no need of parliament that means the bills are seeking to decrease parliamentary role in concluding agreements the president will conclude those agreements without the parliament knowing Hanzi uda umboi wangu ichikara zviri sei poshi salute you hanza uri sei yawe uri kujaka nasi andiri mona saka uri kuona kuti ma powers e parliament they are going to be reduced ne this bill amendment ye 327 ye constitution kuti akuchinja mazwi akunzi foreign organization or foreign entities akunzi ma international organizations akupa mafsimba kuna munanga agwa kuti akwanise ku conclude ma deals without involvement of parliament and we are we are ready for a signal definitely pakuda kuti pashandwe pana apa pakuda kushandwa kwakomana tikasadaro taparara so the amendment would allow president to enter into agreements with the foreign organizations where previously the president could only refer or enter into agreements with international organizations foreign organizations encompasses a more considerable breadth of organizations and the proposed amendment poses a risk that agreements against the national interests would bind the state including possibly possibly burdening zimbabwe with the further economic debt it could also increase the opportunities for corruption and render the process of entering into such agreements decidedly less democratic or less democratic currently the provision ensures that parliament is able to query the executive before entering into binding agreements so that means vanongo vanogona kukwereta kana vaona vanoda hano tandita nekutonga vanogona kuda kunokwereta mari dzakanyanya dzakawandisa bvava vasiya vaita ma binding agreements nedzimwe nyika vaita those binding agreements bvava varowa pasi imimi muna mauzoya you struggle with those countries because panenge pane ma binding agreements so it is further unclear how this proposed amendment will coexist with the section 300 of the current constitution which empowers parliament oversight over public debt chikwere the chesechino fana kutorwa ne nyika ye Zimbabwe chofana kuenda through the parliament kuti vaone kuti parliament kune chi vari kudiva ne parliament as i agree with monzora seeing the past weekends uh, uh, events in Zimbabwe diaspora vote is a strategy for our freedom and in both the diasporans are well informed so in comparison if we look at section 89 of the constitution of malawi it gives the president the powers and duties to negotiate sign and enter into an accord to international agreements or to delegate such powers to ministers ambassadors and the high commissioners and section 96 states that the amendment the members of the cabinet shall have the function to assist the president in determining the, what international agreements are to be concluded or acceded to and to inform parliament thereon this is malawi it's so clear ndomano nzo muna ita zibuidiro uchiona zvakadai mukaka wakadai uchibuda kumalawi could the president wongu vanonyora vanosainirana but parliament has to be involved my members of uh, my ministers must be involved and my ambassadors vanokwasa kukonglude on behalf of the parliament in our country so in contrast to section 238 of the constitution of eswatini provides that an international agreement executed by or under the authority of the government shall be subject to ratification and become binding on the government by an act of parliament or by resolution or at least two thirds of the members at a joint of the two chambers of parliament ladies and gentlemen in the south african constitutional court judgment on the invalidity of the disbandment of the sadag tribunal the court held that the president's participation in suspending the sadag tribunal and the subsequent signature of the 
2014 protocol on the Sadak Tribunal without a referral to the National Assembly first was unlawful and further irrational. And Murugunzo, Vakomana, looking to compare uh, most of these things, we are comparing most of these things uh, with our regional counterparts, the likes of Zambia. If you look at the Zambian Constitution Amendment Bill, which was released for public uh, comment on, 30, on 21 uh, June 2019, is yet to be passed into law. Among the proposed amendments includes repeating the section uh, which provided that the National Assembly shall oversee the performance of executive functions by approving international agreements and the treaties before they are acceded or ratified. It means the executive could vice any decision they need approval of the National Assembly. Could order the president or not direct Avanga and Devam Nangagua, but Zogo and the Sina, fifteen billion, two billion, three billion, Vajitora Zuquered, Uquered Ranika, without National Assembly being involved. Definitely that will lead to corruption. Karakum Gomad, this is a white hour before my elections, Utakanda China, Takapua fifteen billion, Takanda Kwa America, Takapua thirty billion, Takanda Kukunans Dubai, Takapua fifteen billion. Marriage, this is those Utkarak that account for Zaka and Epi. You understand? So, without involvement of National Assembly, like what is required in Zambia, Atina Shatinget Chita Wakumana. So, the removal of National Assembly oversight over executive functions not only undermines the doctrine of separation of powers, but also threatens the rule of law and is likely to lead to an abuse of power within the government. The increased attempts in the region to concentrate power on the president should raise an alarm. The increased, the increased attempts by even Zimbabweans to concentrate powers on the president when we removed those powers in 2013 constitution should raise this alarm that we are talking about. We don't need a president with absolute power. Complete power. No, 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 no. We need a president who is uh, bound by fundamental principles of a country, which is the constitution, the supreme law. And the Murugona. Taguta are about gender and the youth quotas in the National Assembly. Section 124, subsection 1b of our 2013 constitution seeks to establish a mandatory policy of affirmative action in the National Assembly of Zimbabwe to ensure that a minimum 22% of the National Assembly's legislators are women. I'll call you, I'll give you a call. I don't remember of parliament with ambassador Zanu and Miss Aram Priscilla. The governor printed a t shirt to Chugans in any one drew wood. Tiganora would do wood, one opo pot. Munar was it wood. Well, Patatama Bora, Dara Chamba Bora to Wakoman. And I didn't have Maniam ground and I far in the one winded Rashi Dekin. And all because they are powerful shots. Saka Pandai Maya Stamper Boran was in the Bokand, or was in the Rashi Dekin. Laganga a nickname. Yes, and I eat. You were a nickname, can only wure. When I would do wure, was a chema. Was those on a far rock sheet, on a sheet of God, a Bokand, that were barred, that were not Bokand. They were barred, that were not the Shapiro. They were cross bar. You don't you're denigrating yourself. That's why do these women then yes, those are true at the floor. They are denigrating themselves. You cannot print a t-shirt what in a new one re wood. Then was it wood well. This one is how to wood. You understand? As you want to be surprised, some of the you are always it wood. Who print a t-shirt again? Anyone do it? Who? Who's on a Sunday again? Who? 
Andi rona, wanu wachi zema basa hako tutori ure. Saka wakata izu wane mabasa hako nzi ure, wanu ochema. Hei nda zotu kwa ne wanu, asi, wakafeka t-shirt ya kanzi ure. Wakati neniwa nri ure. Wanu wando zi wadu yu uri ure. <laughs> Andi wanu. So people denigrate themselves. It depends, ne masta wano zipa. Takakura tichi zipa ma nickname. E, nri uchikoro, nda enzi zuda za nkongare bumen. The unconquerable. Why do I go on? When I say I go on, this is the unconquerable man. Have you heard? Those Judas are unconquerable men. They are popular. They are talking about them. They are popular. They are popular. Rashid. When I was in the public, I was just queer. Now, now since I was coming to Rwanda, I was just a book. When I was in the Israel, I was just a book. And what? So, you are a book. Why are you a book? You are a book. You are a book. Uka zipa nikine mbe kuti nindri hure na nindri hure. Toku da iza kuti hure. Saso gumbu. Asu urongwa wakadaru is critical at this juncture. <laughs> Action is much needed than words. Action, it comes from us mkoma um, enest. And it more. So we are looking at this quarter now. Uh, amendment uda kuitua. Hirikunzi uh, ipai uh, hure. Masimba haka wanda. Misa era ambui. Varukunzi vaka zviti vano nzu hure. Varukunzi wape ima simba haka wana. So the words for the life of the first two parliamentarians contemplates that this should be a temporary measure to boost female representation in the National Assembly in the short term and to address long-standing gender discrimination and inequality in our country. It appears relatively clear that the aim of section 124 subsection B Section 124 subsection 1b is to foster the social conditions in which high female representation in parliament occurs naturally without the implementation of gender specific quotas. The amendment bill intends to extend this policy uh, to the first four parliaments. This proposed amendment is a, pre, uh, is a progressive step as it secures at the very least, a baseline of female participation in the National Assembly. And we will prevent the regression of gender equality in Parliament. This provision is in line with Article 3 of the provisions of the African Charter on Democracy, Elections and Governance, which calls for the promotion of gender equality in public and private institutions. This is also reiterated in the Convention of the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. And we need someone bold to take over the military, thank you. Which stipulates that states shall take all appropriate measures to ensure that women participate in decision making. So in practice, extending the force of Section 124, subsection 1b, to a further Two parliamentary terms could constrain rather than encourage female participation in the National Assembly. This is a distinct possibility if society expects female candidates to only or primarily contest the added 60 seats reserved for them rather than other 220 uh, seats reserved for all political parties. This quarter, women will be pushed, pushed. Could I even 220 constituents? I can go share my card with my boss. But when our secretary reserved, as please, Brad, can you show that video for Java? Will our event for a second time? I will do that. Canada pays. I think those Mawindi who used to work for the combis are supposed to be mobilized to register to vote. Thank you, um, at the gate. So you see that thus far the quota has not resulted in increased female participation in politics, but has rather discouraged it. If you see this amendment, uh, we want this quota, we want this quota. If you see that quota, it is not increasing any participation of women in this National Assembly, but is confining them to a certain position whereby they will remain that. Out of those 210 constituents, they will not be able to do that. But my booster is not 
boosting any quota uh, in anything. It's discouraging women to participate. Because when they are confined, to go and go and say, "Ah, I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to go women quota." You understand? I'm just going to go women quota. So I don't worry. So the quota has enabled the parties to ignore or discourage female candidates from participating in elections on the basis that they would be catered for by the quota. Rather than increasing the number of women in parliament, it has contributed to keeping it a mostly the same level. I apacha change up because mukada uta noise wakati uta mune kwenye kwa mno yenda wakati mune kwenye kwa mcha yenda. You understand? So it's not uh, uh, increasing any quota. In reality, the quota is deceptive as it saves the state from introducing actual gender parity provisions such as 50-50 representation. Including in political party selection. So in comparison, if we look in Kenya, Kenya adopted a more robust and progressive constitution in 2010 that deliberately compels the state to take affirmative measures to address gender imbalances in institutional setup. Zasiana Nese Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe Bakazoga Tona Kudai Nyaraya Mai Munekwen Yukam Chayenda Kunekoto. That means uh, for the next four years, the number of women will never rise. You remain the same number. Apana ba mcha wanda mpale men. Bozi mkana muri 60%, mcha namba muri 60%. You won't go more than that. Bozi eshita rado wakazi, wakana kusimuka, change out of garai pasi. Mune kwenye nyuku fimi okota kwa tisha kuisai. Entro kumira kuhurungu, ah ah mai, amusuka enda kuhurungu. Muneku female quota kwa mchaenda. Saka the number of women will never increase by this amendment. So, jaita urona Douglas Monzora, ndeshe kurota. Kutaiwa, hey female quotas, hey, it doesn't work. Because it is actually intending to keep the number of women constant in parliament. It's not increasing the number of women. And then muruona, it's never going to increase the number of female uh, representatives in parliament, but it is going to keep them constant. Can I worry 30? But I about 30 for the next four years. I'm also on our 35 foot as you did. But it says I want to run female quota where you go. And as you see, you the, if we smart enough or if Zimbabwe can use brains, title mobilize a group in the white Java, Mubulawa, Pakaipa. So another, if we look at another proposed amendment, is section 124, uh, subsection 1C, which allocates seats in the National Assembly for 10 youth members. That is, persons aged uh, from 21 to 35 years of age. One from each province. It is not unprecedented across Africa for countries to enact constitutional provisions reserving and aiding or allowing the parliament to pass laws in this vein. Seats in parliament for youth members. This is to this has been the case in Kenya. Kukenya section 97 1C in the section 98, subsection 1C of their constitution. Zigo Kenya. Uganda, section 78, one, subsection 1C of their constitution. Uganda, Rwanda, they use section 75, subsection 3 of the constitution. According to the 2003 United, United Nations World Youth Report, an analysis of the global experience of children and the youth people over many years reveals the extent to which the absence of their perspectives in policy making at all levels has consistently militated against their best interests. My youth, when I was 25, my name Juru Waga ended up in parliament when I was 27 years. She was a member of parliament. Because I talked to her youth up to 35 years. Ngawa ende kwa wacha hapo ndwa for free. I don't think it is in a msoro. Overall, 
the insertion of this requirement of guaranteed youth representation in the National Assembly of Zimbabwe, although only providing for 10 youth members, is a change that will increase the number of youth people in the government, enhancing the democratic character of Zimbabwe politics. After all, young people do comprise most of the Zimbabwe's population. It may even encourage young people to be more active in the national affairs of the country. However, there is a risk that this police could entrench low level of youth representation in the National Assembly, as young people may be expected to only run for those youth reserved seats. This is not a good idea. Why I'm saying it's not a good idea? But I'm going to say that 22, 25 years ago in parliament. But I'm going to say members of parliament. I'm going to say that 20, 35 years ago. Kutitambe chungo mdi yuthi. Tinda acha zupu wa siti ya mahara. Anenga acha eletu wa. Arko apu indu wa eletu. Anenga acha apu indu. To represent the youth in a province. And the Zanu PF will represent the Vanamai. And it's more. So it's not going to work as people might be conned to believe. So overall, the amendment bill dilutes democracy. It weakens the rule of law. And it fails to take sufficient heed of human rights in our country, particularly those of a civil and political character. Portions of the amendment bill would be a backward step for democracy, accountability, and the division of government power, representativeness, the rule of law, and human rights in our country. It would further allocate power to the president while diluting, uh, while diluting uh, mechanism intended to hold the president to account for his actions, his wrongdoing, and his, uh, in some cases, illegal conduct. A, for a good example is the wrongdoing that we all witnessed on the 1st of August 2018 which requires the president to be accountable for the killings of those people. The wrongdoing of 14 January 2019, which requires president to be accountable on those uh, killings. That's far several uh, civil society and human rights organizations and activists have expressed the profound concern towards the contents of this amendment bill. You and me included, including Zimbabwe Human Rights and the Manan Governmental Organization Forums, the Zimbabwe Environment Law Association, Crisis in Zimbabwe Coalition, and Election Resources Center. Ladies and gentlemen, how this was achieved, this bill... Wakaipa, guys. Ah, chapir. Sorry, guys. Phone yangu 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 zima. Eh, ameno shungwe tika muno mwashunjema gates. So, so you find anzi youth at the thirty-five when most people get to see opposition at fort. Paka ipa. So this for this amendment bill to to go through, the Zanu PF government went on to conduct public hearings which were done during the lockdown. And the people, the number of people were limited. That means when 93% of the Zimbabweans agreed to this, uh, to this constitution, <clears throat> how can a less figure amend that constitution? The amendment, as I've mentioned, it is seeks to remove the election of the vice presidents with a view to revert to the old system where the president appoints his deputies. Most participants were, were, when the public hearing was held, most participants were against the removal of the running mate clause, arguing that it was undemocratic and concentrates excessive powers into, the, into one individual, the center of power. Zanupiev is trying to bring back their center of power. 
Some argued Zimbabweans, some Zimbabweans argued that Zimbabwe is yet to test how this system works. And before that system is implemented as we preferred in our constitution, it is now being amended. And therefore, and therefore, it is essential to give it a chance than to amend it. In addition, Ensuring that the people elect the president together with the vice president helps mitigating uh, possible uh, mitigating possible instability in cases where the president resigns or becomes incapacitated. However, those in favor of this position argued that it was prudent for the president to choose his deputies because they will serve with the loyalty unlike when they are elected by the people. So ZANU PF favors this because they want to see loyalty rather than development. So this running mate clause, it was never used in Zimbabwe. And before it is implemented, we are already uh, 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 amending it. Varume, Ngatungware, Asmu Yuda Mumba Yakore Pamaga Desmond Zora took that action to gain momentum for 2020. The Chamisaga disease. Junochkisa remember surprising Zanis Changrai guards. Now we see women suffering abuse voices every day. Is it because no one is there to speak on their behalf and Wure, our Warungo Chagamari Chet? That's the problem that we have. Wure, I forgot what I see Muga, Kutvata Ure Panyaya, they are parliamentarians. They must raise their, their voice in regard to the treatment of marriage wenga. But not even one Wure is, 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 is talking about marriage wenga. People on social media, women of dignity on social media are vying, crying why Chwenga is ill-treating a woman. Whilst women in parliament, they wear t-shirts written as Inininenenri Wure. And they don't care about the suffering of another woman. They are concerned, what we know uh, the concept of Wure is someone who doesn't care whether uh, he doesn't care whether he has a condom, he has a condom, he has a condom, they don't care. What they want is just money. And these are the type of women we see in our parliament today. Writing t-shirts with Nenyo Andri Wure and we know the impacts of a Wure. And you know, if you look at the Tower of the appointment of additional unelected uh, cabinet members by the president. These powers must not be accorded to Dambuzo Mnangagwa. And I, I, we have spoken about extension of the women's quota uh, by 10 years. That must never be entertained. And that one in power don't have concerns. It's witchcraft. Introduction of the youth quota. Appointment of judges and prosecutor general. No, you're not going to jump. You the bill proposed to change the manner in which the judges and the prosecutor general are selected. At present, the judges and the prosecutor general are selected through public interviews, which are sometimes televised. However, the proposed amendment suggests removing public interview and allowing the president to appoint the two offices in consultation with the Judiciary Service Commission, participants is also those are true ground. And what did the participants say? They dismissed these amendments as undemocratic, as they compromised transparency in the uh, way public office bearers must be must be selected. So we cannot say to the president, no one who appointed judge, no one who chief. Extension of Supreme Court judge beyond the age of 70, that must be stopped. Establishment of office of the public protector, that must be stopped. Other proposed amendments, Jago and Dr. Rajimam, provincial councils, my delimination, removal of parliament oversight on agreement, all these things are things that were put in our constitutional amendments ladies and gentlemen the ball is in your court definitely the ball is in your court these public hearings when they were done as i've mentioned all they were done during a lockdown 
and I don't know why they are being fast tracked into parliament. So, so naka shitaura pa kutanga. Bisotara, all these amendments are tutara nishadzo. Ziruku vira pa kuti. Nyaya ya ena kutanga nasi. Nyaya ya katanga kudara. Ndofunga madeza hafa mdara changirai. Ndo madeza katanga nyaya ya. E, kwa kwa sarava no emaru. They made sure that they killed Changrai, they eliminated Changrai, but Changrai was not going to allow this to happen. Kwa kwa sara, ana misti mari. And zanu pia vipayaka uraya President Changrai, it never thought that President Chamisa would rise to that stardom. So, kwa kwa waifa mba kuma ruzeva, wajiti MDC ya kafana Changrai. They never knew that there is someone who is even better than Morgan Changrai. And when Chamisa rose, they were shocked. Today they are shocked. This is why you see this is a yardstick of uh, attempting to find how deep the sea is. And they are doing it by a leg. Zanupiev will definitely sink. So if they these amendments sailed through because when these amendments were done, they were done by George Charamba, they were done by Douglas Munzura, they were done by Ichemaro Moichonzi, Ekote Niki Mangwana, Ichipo Mangwana. Even Mugabe warned you that be careful of Munzura and Niki Mangwana wake. These are the people who drafted these amendments. And when they drafted these amendments, they saw that the parliament, uh, because Zanu PF majority in parliament, although they claim to be two third, there were a lot of people who came from Lacoste and other people from G40. So there was likelihood that the G40 colleagues in parliament were going to side with the members of parliament from the MDC to make sure that these amendments are not done. As a result, a plot was made. A plot was made which led to Douglas Munzora recalling members of parliament to ensure that the democracy is diluted and weakened. So these bills will sail through without even, uh, even being debated. And the amendments are likely to, to be done without even the people's involvement. Because this was uh, Douglas, Douglas Munzora's intention to make sure that the will of the people is uh, is stampeded on kudotera huzvido zvevana ve Zimbabwe ndosaka muri kuona zviri kunzi Douglas Munzora's political career is dead saka vakuona manje kuti izvi zvataita izvi vanhu vazviona vanhu vavhurika maso vaona what's next and it change age limit from 40 to to to, to 52 imagine Kuti nyika iri kunzi kana vane 40 years hakwanzo otonga nyika. Vane mujuru vakata member of parliament vane 27 years or 25 years. But vane kunzi munane 40 years hakwanzo otonga nyika. Zimbabwe yakaenda kuti RRC kuno rwira kuti Kabila atonge ne 29 years. But kunyika kwenye makuti munane 40 years hakwanzo otonga nyika. Those are double standards that the Zimbabweans must never allow. Ladies and gentlemen Nasa atisuku zosuke na paa. Tatitita ure nya ya amendment. This topic was requested by a lot of people. I know we have reached a number about 100 people today because people are not very much familiar about this section 124, subsection 1C and so forth. People do not understand that. But Kataka Kutara would wonder if I'm Zimbabwe, wonder if I'm in the one of my young guys and did him on. Tikataka Kutinja topic is Ozzy, Kutakara with him, Bandita Nojga, Arojaska of Chagata say, Why Bandita is Opeka and Bera Baru? One of my young guys. But today's presentation, it was a crucial presentation looking at uh, what the Zanu PF government is trying to do and is trying to achieve. And everything was done during lockdown. When we were talking about the pandemic, Zanupia was talking about the 
kupanya MDC kumaya kuda shuma mendi menzi zvipase panozopera lockdown vanhu vanosimudza musoro vanenge vari msaga wa bhururu wa msaga unge kiti saka zvano pia viri kutora the whole population kuisa msaga kwa kubhurira msaga unge kiti everything that i've highlighted here it must be enough to make zimbabweans rise up definitely zimbabweans must put zimbabwe upside down because if this type of oppression continues without us taking action then it means we are going to die paupers in our country zimbabwe is the only country that you and me have zimbabwe is the only country that where our children will be proud of tomorrow you understand if you look at how racial segregation we face ndakati netsara nemapurisa nezuru nichitaura nemapurisa emuno ndikati kubva kuya kwese kusunga kwese kwamunondita every time you come arrest me here and sana mbona muchena e black policeman sa zvoro kuti muno midisbura kana kuno ku yokusha akuna here mapurisa erudzuru wangu echivanhu chitema pese pa muno ya makaman kaman 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 muri much muri 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 mabununega ko vachitema varipi so what we are going through in these countries makes us makes us love our country it makes us think that if we don't fight for our freedom and go back home to enjoy life we will never enjoy it tirongo fa tiri ma refugee minyika dzevamu unozochika mwe ndakazoda kumdonza munhu mupurisa vanda kazochika kuti ndiri refugee ndokukwada butsa munhu kuri ku Zimbabwe ndokukwada mutsa munhu and kana kuri Zimbabwe mutambo wacho tino dzonza but i know this is my country i won't go anywhere andidi mona <laughs> andidi mona warume saka ndonya ya tiri kutaura yekuti now it's all up to zimbabweans with all these constitutional amendments being done twitter say twitter say and the mdct under siege mana monzora they have acceded to it this amendment bill eh ndora kakonzera ma 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 recourse esa akaitwa mu parliament they were because of uh, this amendments bill and it mona saka ndo situation atatarisana nayo akumana chirega indi tipinde eh kwasara 45 minutes kuti 10 o'clock dzikwane nasi tiri kupedza early eh let me log on to my facebook page eh timbona kuti mumbona akumana the passion java passion java right now tine vakomana vari muchitorongo kunzi vakachikora mutemo we lockdown vana joana mamumbo vari kunzi vakachikora mutemo we lockdown but tiri kutarisa isusu vana passion java vari kufamba vachiunganidza vanhu vasina ma mask vasina kana chi vanhu vasina ma mask kana chi vakomana saka covid yacho inopera say this selective application of law it must be stopped in our country it has to be stopped bozo kaona selection ya gaindi tanga ne hure yanashi taura and si ndini vakadzi veku zimbabwe they might be up in arms kuti shepa darudi vakadzi mahure andini ba eh apa ndo parutaurwa nyaya dzemahure pana rega indi vise light ringazonyanya ndo parutaurwa nyaya mahure hanzi me too
fine for the purposes of just a long bike for radio. Maybe you could just say we have uh, successfully filed uh, for our candidate. Yeah. We have successfully. Mawa on a rambuya. Anzuka to Hurek on a toko. Urguti Hurek on Diri Nin. Andimona. Anzuka to Hurek on a toko. Urguti Hure. Ambuya by Hure. Selective application application of law uh, must stop. No chocolate. Sakan Nambuya in Indri Hure. Neguti Mati Hurek on a toko. Eh, Apasaita Urwa. Madeza I was to go San Coupe. I understand how court it and is also it has said. Uh, you answer, I, every other woman she must speak for herself definitely this is why i'm saying uh, she must speak for herself not to speak for every woman because i say there is something wrong with you because there is something what was God? I want to teach her. Because you know what you teach her. Because you don't go to the Hure. You don't go to the Hure. You don't go to the Hure. So, not every woman. You never respected women in Zimbabwe. You don't go to Hure. And you don't go to the Hure. So, you don't go to the application or selective application of law. Again, where Joanna Mamombe and Cecilia Chimbi are on 55 days locked in Chukurubi maximum for violating COVID rules. For violating COVID rules. Thank you, Mkoma Brian. After addressing a news conference in March in solidarity with Macomborero, looking today or yesterday, Java was allowed by ZRP to gather hundreds of people and break the COVID rule without even masks in Bulawai, in Gweru, in Kadoma. And the youth were running after his car. Ladies and gentlemen, Sandru Taura is, it's not a joke. I want to show you this video. I'm going to show you this video. Selective application of law. Super spread of COVID. Kukumbira Mari. Wana Rukumbira Mara. Wana Rukumbira Mara. Wana Rukumbira Mari. Blasu Ano Buddha. Ano Buddha is eating binga. And the Mari name Vur. Now has made the youth unemployed youth, the people who are starving. Walgum kumbira tipo mari. Yatino la ushipuri sa ya ya. Mno yendi ne mari ni. Eh, vanwa kuya mari o tipo. Auna mariage. The bade imo video. I'm not sure. Let me try to look if it has been posted on YouTube or it's just on um on uh. Ah ga 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 ga. Mazimba soga. Ay, ay, ay. Tisata ora tine mari, tisinaji mari. Tisata ora dorme tine mari. Isus tisinaji. Tisina mari ajo. Now the people in Kadoma, they gathered waru kumbira mari. Blasu ya na mari. The people in, 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 in Kadoma, Bulawayo, Gweru, all those people gathered there wachum kumbira mari. Blazu ya anachunu. Andi mwona. Zinu shakasha ata. Izo se kuprite nda kungetine mari. Kana une yako ya kutu unoji. Kaya wewe gane muri yako is fine. Makanzu wa mbuya jawa. Wa yu member of parliament. Mbuya waka fila pabasa. 
Waka, waka nda kwele ta TV, yiku TV yuse yuse nda haya. E, waka fila pa basa. E, daya ndine mari nini. Nishifama jitaro ndine mari kuwanu. Mai wangu wa wembo fila pa basa. Waka soita mungu kandi gererini. Waka ndi zara, waka ndi kuza. Mai wangu wa kufila pa basa. Kwa mungu kandi gere wacha zo wana rini. Shua ndo fama jitaro wa wano ndine mari nishipuri sama milioni US dollars. Badi mai wangu wa wana, waru wara ni nzara. Wajikwele ta TV. TV nda mari. TV, mtv sewe zenda haya, nene damari. Majita ura, e, mwana wa mdara changirai, save, kutisave msabuda mpale mende. Ushikwere tuza makatura mnoshi badra ne. Inini ndiyoto ene chikwere jok TV sewe zenda haya. Endi waka fila papa asa mai wacho. Saka, mchikandi gere, wacha waiso wana rini. Kupawa chara wana wana wachikura, wana wachitambura. Kusikazi nosi wana wana kutinemari, but they can't look after their mother. Waru kufamba wajita ratu wane mari wa shitendi ra mzimbabwe. Vashika pane wanu waru kutikuda mari. Hapana <laughs> mari ya buda. Ndaona pane mwe video ya nanchi chaka pana hapa. Patenge ruwa wanu ma koko kora. Koko kora. Ma yuta anga achiruwa wana mzimbabwe. Nikati wako mana murguru ira koko kora. Koko kora. Rika enditi koka kola. Koko kora. Ya ndaona wajiru ira. Anditi maona. Zinu zino siri isa. Azi haino anakongora wano mobilize from there. Zinu zino siri isa wakumana. Laina andri popa na yuda. Tuo zikano wane kutahura. Laita kwa tisi mzamai ni yela. Sitahura ipa papa. Warume. E, yangu wae kuti. Mese wafana muripana hapa yu unemployed. Wafana waewe ma windi vesa. Wacha diu kwa unu kwa mtaun. Hanzi mabazi. Ese kwa rechi koro rechi. Ngarini na miruwe zupko. Wafana haya wasina kwa haru kuwa na mari. Zaku siri risa. Hini na mbota wala kune mwomu na mbota. Hei ma windi di kata sometimes. Kuti ma windi haa visu kwa shininge jiri nane. Bozi hinda kato mboida ma occasions. Eku rwa na ne ma windi. Kusia pa kuchekwa ne banga. Kucheke rwa yembe ne banga. Hazi na rambu. Chama ama. Teo the. Paka ipa rambu. Naona wachi rwa na nini wafana wa. Wachi rwira can of coca cola. Uchona mazizu. Woko wachi pinda zu. Wachi na kuma coca cola. Boza hanzi java wachi atenga ma coca cola. Just imagine Mr. Money. Just buying coca cola. Coca cola. Coca cola. Coca cola. Can. Ishwa ye. Aka tengera madam boss mota. Asika badare chikwere dije tv seo zenda. Because people said that. That he bought a car for Tyler. But mai wakanga wakwere ta. Kutivi seo zenda haya. Wakata zakuno badara. Zinu zino siri risa. Iso za tukta ora. Hazi kutoka kwa jeso kwa kwa ipa gogo. Kwa kwa ipa. Zinu zino siri risa za tukta ora. Nakata ima yu wangu wari wapenyu. Anayi mbore gawachi kwele ta TV. TV seo zenda haya. Kana kufira pa basa. Zese huti kana kumusha. Kune chembele zese huti mwono mboya. Wacha kwa nsuko nda kuno rima. Kupati sama yu wako gejo. Yo shikora rumbege, ushitendere la mzimbabwe, ushitora dune mari. Asimai, chayo, chayo. Waka wafa, waka fila papasa. Died on duty. Haa, jikai enyu mari zenyu. Kana ziri mari zeo rombwa. Romba yi mshi jika mega wako mana. Asimai, nunu zai, aila. Andi mwana. Jikai mega. Bozi pana zimwe mari. Nchata ura yi mwenye ya pana Pana zimwe mari zeo rumbwa Zegu danzi Muna wakurise mara ashitambiza Ama yake Anzi zino yera pa urumbwa rumbwa Anzi anu burisa achikanda pasi Yu ono zenda ununuunga siya karaswa Anzi good night Jawa P is not arrested No zino shamisa nati He is not even arrested Andi mwona He has gathered Thousands of people Ajichikora mtemo We COVID lockdown And mapurisa we there But they never arrested him Saka do patino pataka kutawara wana yuda Isusu we kutawara Kuti koko kora Let me look for the video Koko kora Hili pa whatsapp Saka I'm not sure if I can manage to log on my whatsapp On my computer So that I can show you guys Wanafu wa nrugunye epu I want to show you Zimbabwe youth scrambling for Coca-Cola. Yadai wele nga jithi scramble for Africa ya. 
I've seen people scrambling for scr scr <laughs> is scrambling. And that is how our government underestimates us. It's said, very sad. These people they don't fear Zimbabweans. They are not scared of us at all. MDC and those please check Kupe uh, and please check. Where do where can I check? I'm looking for this video. Uh, I'm looking for this video. But it will kill our country, definitely. So let me look for this video. Come on. I need to try to log on to my YouTube. And I have a video. And what's on this? I think Messenger and Okribo. I'm looking for that video. Uh, Java, uh, let me look for that video. Ndrugichaga was in WhatsApp, but it's refusing to log in Panabam. Ndrati Zevan, Nyazan Ruta or Pan. Eh, we, 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 video. one minute. Ah, come on. Java. Buys. Kokora. Koko. Cox. Kokora. Cox. In Blawai. It's so sad what I'm saying, but I'm so sad. It's very sad. I'm trying to find this video. I can't find it. It's in my WhatsApp, but the WhatsApp is not logging in. What's the name of the video we search online? I'm looking for it online. Where I What's the name of the video we search online? I'm looking for it online. Where youth, uh, Java uh, bought youth some Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. <laughs> My young way, you know, Jappy, Mama, take it a coca cola. Hey, I'll take it a coca cola. Hey, let me look for it. Hey. Fashion job buys cans of cocks. Uh, well, be, 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 be videos. I'm looking for it. I'll find it soon. Mm -hmm. uh, youth, well, let's see. I can't see it. Vanayo, you do you WhatsApp man? Yes, I, my WhatsApp is on now. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, Vure. Now, check a video. What is the, yeah, in this group? I think. Kanawa <laughs> So I'm looking for that video, ladies and gentlemen. It's so slow in loading. So slow. Chapman. So slow in loading. Sir Rebo 
rebel. The rebel. It is so slow, I'm telling you. Cock. Brother, same thing. Nemafuza, no tenger was scared. Good. Afunga with Zanu PF Yaganaga. No chocolate, George. But tenger was Coco Cora. And one was Jacroana. A father is in dense or levels. Nafanta and Vagasunga by breaking the COVID rules. But our Varukuj Ganezan, our Sungu, those Junja, Jurguneza, Jaguti, those privileges. When they go, which I will get a get a women. Right. Come on. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find this video, ladies and gentlemen, so that I can show people. Uh, or else, let me post it on my the wall so that, so that people. We'll see it. I'll post it on my Facebook wall so that people will see this. It's so sad. I'll post this one. I'll definitely post it on my the Facebook page. So don't forget uh, YouTube. Pane wapanap. Let me go. Uh, Tono Ndiyo here. Uh, because I've got it somewhere. Kanawa no angu. Wanona. Ah, pala blaz. Pala blaz umu. I saw. I saw video. And I sent a video. Yeah. Hmm. The systems are so slow. I don't really understand why. Why my computer is gone so slow? Kokora Kamba is committing collateral damage. I think Kokora Kamba must be sued. Yeah, to me, I don't know. I don't understand it. Uh, Panap. You Let me see. You think I just want to attention to business owners? To help you through the current situation. Exactly. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you so much. I'm going to show people this video. No video, Aja. What is it? Wamako Kora. Wafana. That's how I'm on. That's how I'm on, Yokoman. That's how I'm on. The amount, the degree of poverty in our country. Look at that. Look at that. Makokora. <laughs> This amount of poverty must embarrass every Zimbabwe. We are, we must be embarrassed. If you are a government official, this is an embarrassment. Uh, you should, I, do, I don't think he knows, knows uh, or if he knows, this is an embarrassment. It has been put on uh, YouTube. And it is being shown to the world that the people of the youth of Zimbabwe, by the six percent unemployment, this is so sad. This is so sad. Someone who is going to feed them, and they will be running before that car in their thousands. Guti, pamunigano wanaoka dora ntenge chingwa, ngano wanaoka dora ntenge something chekuja. This is very sad, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very sad. Pandawana video, 
Very, very sad. This is something that we never thought Zimbabwe would, would reach this uh, poor or poverty levels. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, going, I'm not going beyond at this point at this juncture because already my heart is in pain. The people, my people in Zimbabwe are suffering. We are really suffering. And I don't think ZANU-PF cares, cares very... ZANU-PF does not care at all. This is why you see these people are suffering. They are like pigs. People who come together. People who If you look at this video alone, it tells, it reflects a story about Zimbabwe. It reflects about our government. Anzi the uh, flow Stalin's chickens. Does he have a heart? I don't think so. I don't think he has got a heart to feel for these kids. These are the youngsters, school leavers. degree It's so sad that this is a true reflection of Zimbabwe. That's a true reflection of our country, ladies and gentlemen. Saga, for that, you are in the majority. Voting is the only way that you can make yourself successful. Properly heard. Otherwise, the suffering continues if you don't register to vote. So, we need to fix the hospitals, the roads, the jobs, the schools, the drinking water that comes out dead every day, the drugs, the pandemic that's driving our youth mental, the pressure, the violence, the abduction, the captured state, institutions that are used to silence us. Now this is a message to all the youth out there. Listen up. Tinashe, Jasha, Fadai, Nelson, Tafara, Petsai, Udakwashi, Mamoyo, Saigwa, Afuiwa, Samaita, Mandovo, Mandebele, Umba. We have to go out there and register to vote. That is the only way we're going to change our future. This country is in trouble from the looting, the plunder, the incompetence, the nepotism, the craftsmanship, and the thieving that is taking place every day. All our money is being used to buy cars. The hospitals, they don't have medication. All the roads, they are potholes. Our cars, the suspension is breaking down daily. We have to change this by going to vote. Now, if you're still wondering why you have to vote, remember the hospitals, the roads, the jobs, the schools, the drinking water that comes out dead every day, the drugs, the pandemic that is driving our youth mental, the pressure, the violence, the abductions, the captured state, institutions that are used to silence us. Now, this is a message. <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> We have to go out there and register to vote. That is the only way we're going to change our future. This country is in trouble from the looting, the plunder, the incompetence, the nepotism, the craftsmanship, and the thieving that is taking place every day. All our money is being used to buy cars. The hospitals, they don't have medication. All the roads, they are potholes. Our cars, the suspension is breaking down daily. We have to change this by going to vote. Lord have mercy. So if you don't vote, there is one thing that will happen. Lord, them load. Them load, them load, them, them load. load. Money for hospitals, you know, them load. Money for our education, them load. Money to create jobs, you know, them load. Money men for our hospitals, them load. Money men for our roads, you know, them load. Them load, them load, them load. If you don't go to vote, you know them loot. Them loot, them loot, them loot. In order to stop the looting. You well know. done, well done. What was going on? A blast, I must still boss, Baba. No Arman would be why. No Arman do a struggle. Them loot. As we got a gun of water. Well, Marona, her dumburna, her dumburna, her na, obedim pop. Eh, can I show you? Mvua, she can pay pay mvu. Obedim pop is bigger than 
a hippo, a hippo tamas, H I P P O P O T A M U S. Obedim Pof is bigger than a hippo potamas. I see you get by hippo potamas, dem loot, but I'm born out in cartoon to my bones at Wagga, Kagango Daiso Agachinji. But because of dem loot, dem loot, dem loot, now my nigga is gonna boom loot, boom loot, boom loot. Marizel is Rupert, ah, well done, Ngoma Opo, well done, Ngoma Opo, Shingono, well done. This is something that touches the heart. You know, you know, you know, dem loot, dem loot, dem loot. <laughs> if you don't vote, dem loot. No dem loot. Now I can't tell you, I'm going to record down. I'm going to record down. You know, I'm going music. Mm, loot, mm, loot. Can I put a shinzo? I'm going to put a shinzo. 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 I'm going to put a <laughs> now respect uh, enough respect for the, the hope. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of our presentation today. So those who missed it, go on YouTube, Shepherd Yuda channel, subscribe, and you will listen to this again. Demolut, demolut, demolut. Pagai pa ako man sa kanu sa ta ako nita. Isozi sa kanu ni ni. I salute you all uh, for having been with me for almost two hours. So enjoy your night, ladies and gentlemen. Punish uh, Ritiga. So I just need to cool, calm down and uh, focus. So enjoy your day. And that is Azim Dara Zoba. Dara Zoba. Ah, Dara Zoba, that team. I didn't want to pack it, guys. Trofa and Zara, as in a new Zimbabwe, they do hope should become Minister of Justice. But when I hope, I'm going to have a cigar, I'm going to have a corruption. I don't miss exact corruption. Yes, I'm going to have a food. Bonnie, Papa Pipi, Bonji Bonji, in a good job, I'm going to go on. I talk about the bees. I go shand this one is anu pf. Could I confuse my youth? What a political game while the mass suffer. They do hope after a bottle of black label. I go watch kere mo. I paga ipa mo na mo. Go di zuto zuto. Ah, zwa fa na wa pera. Ne kuwa bronco. Varuku kuyambani. Zwa chuo fa na. Ah, zwa mo kuto tangu bute cha cha rubozi. Akuna ma basa acho. Zaga o mo kumana. So for tonight, a good night. Uh, enjoy uh, this video. When I go to you want YouTube, we will soon upload it on YouTube so you guys can visit and see them loot, them loot, them loot. Ah, pagai bazi diri ora iro. Vano garam diri o diri ora re banje. Vano garam diri o vako mana. Vano garam diri o diri ora re banje. Vano garam diri o usa tambe na vo. Vano garam diri o diri ora re banje. Vano garam diri o diri ora vako mana. Garam diri o diri ora re banje. No garam. Ana diri o. Ano garam diri o diri o ra rembanje. Ano garam diri o o akoma na. Ano garam diri o diri o ra rembanje. Garam diri o diri o ra wakoma na. Diri o ra rembanje. Apa kai pa ko wala? Ah, oro fa zaku chur. Apa kai pa? Adam ko matina je. Wandi ten de zamsor. Wandi ten de zamsor. Kuni la boy boy boy. Zaga o manai. So ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. Anzi Patrick Monzoran, they are busy singing empty praises for the master. Good night, everybody. Good night. Mangwana. My topics are queers, my public demand. Nay, Mzas of God, they are divert my topics, but people are asking by public demand. I'm still waiting for the information, especially the CCJP of the Gukura wound. Uh, we need to talk about the Gukura wound. So, Fraser, as uh, thanks Mkuma Shapiro, thank you Mkuma Fraser, enjoy. Uh, we, we are, as Gukura as well, those are true tower, as my pets, I'm supposed to, thanks, Fatso. Saka Trukumirira, some of the information about Gukura wound, so that we can take time, serialize it, and to find out what exactly happened what the people of Matebeleland are feeling. If we have chance or if gathered enough of this information, then we would straight go into uh, the Gukura wound issue. But 
Junda, uh, the Junda coup government has run out of ideas, uh, ladies and gentlemen, turning around the economy and bizarrely, and it now believes exhuming President Robert Mugabe's remains will turn around the fortunes. So, Paipa, and Nyaya Kutanzi, Vagda no Fukura Mutumbi, wa Robert Gabriel Mugabe, could you know the heroes eka? They think maybe Mugabe or Shatirwa, so they can't turn around the economy before they bury Mugabe by heroes eka. Why can't they let this old man rest in peace? Oh, man. Eh? And the, they have failed uh, to turn around the economy. The fortunes of this bilingual government has collapsed as consequently a CIO operative uh, to exhume uh, Mugabe's remains has uh, been sent in motion. And the CIO operation includes mobilizing Zimba chiefs uh, led by Chief Zimba to force Mugabe's family to agree to Robert Gabriel Mugabe's exhumation and subsequent reburial at the Heroes Acre. Um, Piper, guys, Piper, Piper, Piper. I may not say, oh, the Karakans will say, oh, what of Harika Funga Zunzi, uh, or Shash, you greet an eye. Saganya report, you can see Masiao to end a Kuna Chief Zimba, Gumtara, Dumdara, a Tatua Sotora, a board. Yeah, Gabriel Robert Mugabe, we want to go buried uh, ku Kuronziku Heroes Eka. Eh, uh, but and if you go to Grace Mugabe, I'll part like this. Wanu gona gono tora kofi ni sina muno. Wajifuga de mugaba gavi guapa. Pose pose zora mugaba washa muna. Muna. And this one. Wanu gona gumsha ya pa pa. Amenot why? Because mugaba gata ora gadi inini gana nda from Sunday se pa heroes egg. I know these people are ritualists. So what they want is my head and my brains. So don't please bury me there. Uh, take me home. <laughs> As the day they say, So a villager has been identified and has since made a complaint to Chief Zimba. Anunzi Tinos Manongo Vere. Ndia enda kuna Chief Zimba kuna tawara kuta. Ah, 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 ah. Ta anda doadu mdara ano vigwa. Kuhiroz eka. Ameno di ye ndia ane. And it improperly intend in courtyard at his rural home therefore his widow grace uh, should appear before chief zimba's court in a bid to arm twist uh, into acceding the junda pf demands uh, to have gabriel robert mugabe's remains exhumed and reburied at the national shrine and central committee member who identified himself as Gushungo clan member, a minister uh, from national and west and local lawyer, have been robbed in uh, to look at ways how the exhumation uh, can be done. However, the lawyer has raised several questions over the env envisaged exhumation. As in the communication uh, between the ZANU PF Central Committee member, the National and West Cabinet Minister and lawyer, there are a lawyer questions the CIO operation to exhume uh, Mugabe's remains that the Central Committee and Cabinet Minister are funding. The lawyer questions how feasible it is uh, for Robert Mugabe's remains to be exhumed even if my Mugabe is found to be culturally wrong in bearing RG at his rural home. He asks so. Let's assume the traditional custom finds my Mugabe was on the wrong side culturally. What will they do? Charge so that Vanongo Ripa Nyayo Perekadaro. The Zanu PF Central Committee member replies he found guilt, then corrective measures will be taken to properly bury Gabriel Robert Mugabe. You the ways uh, that I wanna read those uh, newsmen. Uh, pa WhatsApp group, uh, I post up a WhatsApp group, uh, it's on my WhatsApp group, so um, you can drop your numbers so that we we share. The lawyer and the lawyer argues that because the issue of burial, the Wam Gabe was debated and covered in newspapers until it was finally said he was going to be buried. The judges will say, Why didn't you apply at that injunction without delay? Now, the lawyer further observes that the world may want to see justice applied to enable permanent protection of Mugabe's legacy. Ah, uh, I in box. I will try to take it from there. But Isai, 
Uh, as was Opere Wamanj, Varuta tried to resuscitate our economy. What they think? They think Mugabe is angry. So they are trying to bring Mugabe's board and so uh, to national shrine from his home. They should uh, grant the wish of the dead. Now, it's interesting that at a time the world is grappling with the devastating COVID pandemic, it, it, it this school government prioritized exhuming Mugabe's remains for occultic reasons. What has happened to the vision 23rd? Is exhuming Robert Mugabe remains a pre-request for the success of vision 23rd. And eloquence as chaiti as chatorik is as an eye. Keep current my worry as not jealous, my worry. And the jerry, jerry, I got no more rubbish. Magic and fist. Also, today in Bindura MDC supporters said Monzora could not address them because they have betrayed the part and the meeting was abandoned. The two could. Uh, not even arrive in the venue. <laughs> in the venue, ground rare mo agumana from Goma Dagi. Shaka man's good conversation. Besides, and tuka uyo. Good night, Yuda. Thanks, um, Goma Chikerema. I know. Don't worry about good tuka. Don't tuka so good. Can I name um, Goma Chikerema? Not hey, Yuda. Kuru tuki way. You are not benefiting anything from this, but we just need to inform people. Shaka so good tuka is ah, man, oh my. Ignore Tuga. You need to ignore Tuga. And it is a break, breaking news. Youth are now asking themselves after finishing chasing Binga cars where to go. Vapes are fun. Varoma drinks. Vapaso Garasau. Vapunga. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the amount. Of poverty in our country. Look at that. Vapeza over for now. Vamo Oma drinks Vapeza. Vafunga, where do we go? Apavanga, what my son and Nemota, a passion jaw. Vapeza, what gara jaw? And this is in a inbox. Mm 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 mm. I am a secret. I'm a inbox. I am a secret. And I'm a this is the amount of poverty dejected youth in our country. Do but a shika. Do but a shika. Do but a shitswa. Nana obet gutu. Saka ladies and gentlemen for tonight. A good night. A good night. To zota ora mangwana nae. Nika pizza time. Nika kubistirai time. A good night. Data. Chengete zai. Zona na mangwana nae.